working. But I, but I can't just buy an entire farm. No, you can. But what you could do is you can go online and find a mutual fund that invests into farmland and agriculture. You know, China's buying a massive amount of farmland right now. You know, for a specific reason. You know. Yo, what is up all you beautiful people? Yo, what do you do during this time of uncertainty? This time of recession. As you can tell, as you probably guys already know, S&P 500 is down. Freaking Bitcoin is down. You know, market's taking a dump. Crypto is taking a crap. The next thing that probably is going to go is real estate. As a lot of people believe, a lot of my mentors have told me that they are shorting real estate as well too. So, in this video, let's talk about how you can make money during this recession. Let's talk about a couple of, I mean, my favorite topics is business. Let's talk about a couple of businesses that you can get into that are recession proof. Now, overall, recession proof means things that are going to be market neutral, you know, kind of like Valify. I want to bring the shameless plug in, but we're kind of great. <laughs> Valify entirely, entirely aims and is confident in making a ecosystem that provides its own value, provides its own revenue, that can completely self-sustain itself within the ecosystem by providing value within the ecosystem, keeping the value in the ecosystem. You know, and it does that by offering services and products. Okay, but enough of that shameless plug. Let's start talking about recession-proof ideas, recession-proof projects. Obviously, first things first, the best investment you can make is into yourself. But now that we got that off the rope, let's talk about some, some business that you can get into. Now, this is simple. This is easy. Things like cigars, you know, that's recession proof. People are always going to want to smoke a cigar, you know. Alcohol, people are always going to want to drink. Even like weed, people are always going to want to smoke the effing weed, you know. I know it might be illegal slash legal in your spot, wherever you're living, but things like that are recession proof let me give you an example why a lot of people are more willing to skip their dinner to buy a pack of cigarettes or to buy a bottle of alcohol you know it's kind of like crack to them you know crackheads they can always find a way to make money to buy crack they always can find a way to make money to buy crack whether it's stealing bartering doing something sucking dick to get it you know whatever they got to do they're gonna get money for crack you got to find businesses that people rely on. Whereas, let me give you a simple example. Something as simple as like a laundromat, you know, a laundromat. People need to do their laundry. I have this chick that spent 100 G's on a laundromat. It's producing $67,000 every single year. And if you think about it, it's like one and like two or three months or something like that. I mean, one and four months or something like that. And she's going to get an entire investment back. Things like that, yeah. It might not be that crazy APY that you're expecting off of crypto 20, 100 APY, but if you think about it, those APYs have never really been a thing ever since crypto was started, you know. And with the government really trying hard to de to tr trying hard to regulate cryptocurrency, crazy hustle there, but yeah. Things like that, tire repair shop, mechanics, you know, even like food, agriculture, you know, farmland. I know what you're thinking, but I, but I can't just buy an entire farm. No, you can't, but what you could do is you can go online and find a mutual fund that invests into farmland and agriculture. You know, China's buying a massive amount of farmland right now, you know, for a specific reason, you know, and it, it makes sense, you know. Energy, people always need energy, solar panel stuff, you know, people always going to need that. I won't necessarily say mine Bitcoin right now, but I don't think that's the, the best move right now. What I'm saying is do things that have some sort of tangible, not necessarily tangibility, but do things that people need, absolutely need. You know, propane. You know, Blue Rhino, things like that. I would invest into them. You know, medical stuff. People need medical insulin. People need freaking insulin. Holy shit. You saw that umbrella just knocked out right now? Damn. <laughs> People always need medicine. That's another great investment to make, you know. 
you know, what would be really cool that some people would probably love to do, that love to hear this from me, is that buying a whole bunch of cigars, buying a whole bunch of alcohol, storing it for a couple of years, and then reselling in the future, most definitely. Just things like that, things that people always need, cigarettes, cigars, alcohol, weed, but things like that, that people really kind of, like, I'm not saying rely on, actually no, they do rely on that, you know? Because they rather sacrifice their dinner to buy alcohol. Things like that, those are always gonna be fantastic freaking investments. And I was actually talking to my buddy about this. We were coming out of the gym. I'm not gonna say his name, his name is B, say. B was like, Blade, where, I have, I have 40 G's right now in my savings. What do I do with it? I'm so proud of myself, I got 40 G's. Let me tell you the first thing not to do with it. The first thing not to do is put in your savings, you know? I wouldn't put in a strong right now. Strong is like three freaking dollars and a strong token, a stronger token. It's better to hire employees than to do that stuff, you know? Take that 40 G's, invest it into some sort of mutual fund of agriculture. Depends on really what you like though, you know? The reason why I say it depends on what you like is so that you can make sure you follow that niche. If you love smoking cigars, perfect. Learn about cigars. Learn about what holds his money the best, holds his value the best, and invest into that. Put your money into that. You know, it all comes down to having your money work for you. Overall, money, realistically, money is was something created by the ultra, ultra freaking wealthy to keep people like people, the middleman, the lower class in check, keep them slaves to money. But the true wealthy people understand that they need to take the money into something that grows itself, at least keeps up with the current inflation rate, current economy, or even makes more money off of that, you know? That's what true wealthy people do. They understand that money is just a thing of value. Money is a tangible thing of value. Not necessarily tangible, but it's just ones and zeros, things of value that you can use to make you money, more money. Money is an employee, so treat it like one. And I wouldn't be starting, I'm not saying, yo, start a business that requires a huge amount of capital to start. No, that's a, that's, that's not necessarily, I don't want to say dumb, but that's not the best decision either. Because most of the time, the simpler the business is, most of the time, the simpler the business is, the least amount of, that's amount of cash flow you need to start it is oftentimes the best, most reliable business that you're going to have, you know? So yeah, go invest in freaking weed. Yeah, go invest in alcohol. <laughs> no doubt, okay? I wouldn't really invest in real estate right now because like I said, a lot of my mentors are saying that's going to go down and I kind of do agree with them, you know? But what I'm saying is to park your money into things that keep up with inflation. Park your money into things that will make you money, that works as employees, you know? Even if it is, means taking those 40 G's, putting into some employees to mow lawns for you. That's more profitable than putting in some sort of savings. You know, some of the, my, my favorite businesses are those trades businesses. I'm talking welding. I'm talking carpentry. I'm talking painting. I'm talking electrical, HVAC, plumbing. Those trades are always going to be there. So if you find somebody that maybe they're cutting grass, but they only have one lawnmower and it's a push lawnmower and it's not even the ones you sit on that does itself, invest into that business, buy them a couple of sit on lawnmowers, help them get a couple more employees and you get a lot better return on that money than putting into cryptocurrency, than stocks, than real estate, than whatever things that you can't be sure about. Do that instead. Guys, I'll see you later, guys. This has been the Hustler's Ambition. I still don't have a name for what I want to keep this called as, but guys, I hope this helps. You know, be smart with your money. Your more money is an employee. So make it do your bidding. Make that money your biatch. <laughs>